Okay, today we're going to talk about what the white belts need to do at home and what we're looking for as far as corrections goes. So we're here with Gage today and he's going to take us through first some blocks. So we're going to start off with head blocks with the left hand up. Let's get a nice neutral stance. Now when we're doing the blocks at home, it's very important to make sure our chambered hand goes on the outside of our blocking hand. So Gage is going to go through 10 head blocks. Itch. Knee. I'm going to go a little bit slower. San. Chi. Go. Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Kyu, and Ju. So every time you have that chambered hand going on the outside of that blocking arm. Good, so now put your left arm out for a middle block. This is the same thing. This chambered hand is going to go underneath this blocking arm. Itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Kyu, Ju. Good. Now he'll start with his left hand down for a low block. And this time the chambered hand is going to go on top of this blocking arm here. Okay, so for the kids, I like to tell them sometimes when they're having trouble with this block to pretend there's some kind of bug or spider in their arm. And they're knocking that off their arm. Itch. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Ruku. Sichi. Hachi. Kyu. Ju. Great. Now for our kids that already have the head blocks, middle blocks, and down blocks memorized and down pretty well, there's a drill we like to do where we start off with the left hand up for head block, and now we're gonna go right into a middle block, itch, and then right into a down block, knee. And then from the low block to a head block, san, chi, go. So this drill takes us from top, middle, low, back up top, back in the middle, back on the low block, and this helps us solidify having that chambered hand on the outside of our blocks, okay? So now we're going to our stances. So, Gage is gonna show us a Zen stance, so left foot forward. And this forward stance or Zen stance needs to be about as wide as our shoulders. If we're too narrow, make it too narrow. If we're too narrow, we're gonna get pushed over and have no balance. So, there is a very good Zen stance, okay? Now, Sanchin stance, please. So this Sanchin stance or hourglass stance is going to have the back foot straight ahead and the front foot is going to be slightly turned at a 45 degree angle. This stance as well is about shoulder width apart. Okay? Now show us a horse stance or Sikidachi. Good. So our horse stance has our feet, for Goju the feet are angled out 45 degrees with the knees trying to go above those feet, with our back nice and straight. Very good. Had the kids do this for a minute at home and uh, those legs are going to burn. Very good. Now, the final thing Gage is going to take us to for the white belts to practice at home is you can kind of make up your own pattern, mixing the stances with the blocks. So you can go three techniques forward, Gage, show them whatever pattern you really want. Okay, okay so we'll do a Zen stance with a middle block, and then we'll go into Sanchen stance with a head block, and then horse stance with a down block. Good. Now, that entire time, he's focused on the transition of his stance and which way his hand will go in relation to the block. So now do a little bit faster. Okay. Good. Do it again. One more time. Very good. Okay. Go back. So that covers our blocks, head, middle, down blocks. Covers our basic stances that we want them to learn at white belt. It also covers a little bit of a pattern. And they can make this up. They can do it however they want. Okay, so that's a good starting point if you guys can practice at home. All right? Good job. Thank you. Bye, the camera. Very good.